So let's begin. Thank you. So let's begin with our first agenda for today. I would like to call upon our group CEO, Mr. Ern Kok Heng, to give a word or two for this event. Basically, uh, just like to say uh, thank you to Mr. Devish Wadeka, uh, our distinguished guest from Mastercard, Malaysia. Mr. Roy Ho. <laughs> we have three, three Roy's here. Mr. Roy, director of XOX, and uh, our distinguished um, members of the press. Thank you for being here today. Um, XOX brand DNA is uh, like a startup. Why? Because uh, technology can bring uh, much more impact to the market. That's why we are doing this. Um, for example, uh, in the last few months, we've launched, uh, until today, the first digitally uh, acquired EC. Uh, all the rest of the telcos are still requiring you to go to their shop to get an embedded SIM uh, plan. Until today, we still have the lead in EC technology in Malaysia. The first and only, until today, um, digitally uh, downloaded eSIM in Malaysia. And I understand when I go to the region, uh, other telcos also wonder how we did it. Actually, this is an internally developed technology. So this is an example of x rex technology. As I mentioned, uh, we are also uh, expanding regionally to the neighboring country. Uh, Thailand has have announced uh, shortly would be uh, some other countries uh, one of our neighbor and also of course uh, we have already have an office in the partial operation in Indonesia and along with that the, the trust of the technology would be the uh, launch of our e-wallet the e-wallet is something we feel very very uh, important to the market uh, as we analyze the landscape today uh, e-wallet as you can see there are many brands in the Malaysian market, many, many brands. But uh, we have yet to identify a true leader. Yeah? Many brands you can see uh, launch it as a generic product. Uh, e wallet basically a pre-print wallet uh, uh, with a brand, and then they go to a lot of merchants and try to uh, uh, get the merchant to accept the e wallet, and at the same time, incentivizing uh, downloads. That means to say, uh, users download and pay them money, pay them say typically 10 ringgit just to download and use it, try to induce the kind of usage. Those are what we call a uh, generic e-wallet. Uh, we will be the first one in Malaysia to launch the e-wallet as part of the ecology. And a very important part of the ecology is the MasterCard. As you know, MasterCard has 500,000 touch points in Malaysia and 14 million, if I'm not mistaken, worldwide. Which means that you can actually use our e-wallet in Malaysia with 500 touch points and also uh, on the uh, online as well, you can go to any website that accepts uh, credit card, or uh, in this case, debit card. You can accept MasterCard, you can accept that to as e-wallet. And also 40 million more. But if you have enough money, you can go anywhere in the world and touch points that accept uh, MasterCard, you can accept that to as e-wallet. So we have already a, a bigger plan, but it is intimately tied to the e-wallet and it's a related mechanism. Right? Also, the other thing is that we will not be launching a generic e-wallet. We will be launching e-wallet based on use cases. Basically, uh, we answer the question, why do, want, why do we want to spend money? So from that point, it's, not, it's not very organic to use our e-wallet and a cost of the car. This is the general top line strategy of our e-wallet launch. So in this case, you can see very, uh, it is very important to have our uh, partner, uh, MasterCard, because it provides us with this number of touch points and also it's very sophisticated support systems and uh, I would say, of course I wouldn't tell the story, but there are a lot of things uh, planned by MasterCard himself uh, and it is going to be very, very attractive to the market as well. Along with what we have planned internally with x you will really, we believe you will be a very, very successful e uh, product. Okay, I'm almost about done, but that's all my points. Uh, the last thing I want to say is, I think there is a huge opportunity for e-wallet in Malaysia and also in the region. Um, 
As you mentioned, as I mentioned just now, we will have four countries that will be, will be launching our SIM card already, one in Malaysia, of course, three other countries. Uh, as part of our ecology, the e-wallet also will be launched regionally, hopefully with the proper regulatory uh, approval and all that. And consumers will not just use e-wallet of literally the SIM card in Malaysia only, but it will be a regional brand, meaning that it is actually um, one single account. Which means that if you have a SIM card, you can use example data in all the four countries and more in the future, and also the e-wallet. So that means to say there will be different different kind of currency involved as well. So we will make it very very uh, convenient for our, uh, our our consumers. Uh, as you know, uh, being regional, many of our consumer high percentage of a uh, last minority percentage of our consumer travels cross border, right? So this will be something of a first as well. And also I was um, reminded by Mr. Devish that we are the first product, e-wallet product that is tied together with a uh, with Mastercard, literally with uh, any kind of uh, uh, credit card brand, right? So we're the first one to internally tie. As you notice, most of the other e-wallet are basically P2P, right? We're the first one B2C, of course we have the P2P as well. And one of the first telco to uh, uh, take the uh, e-wallet business serious, seriously, right? This is our strategy uh, uh, of course, there's going to be a lot of challenges outside uh, because it's literally to us still a very virgin market. Um, Malaysia's culture are a credit society, cash society. So the e-wallet is a debit card, debit uh, you know, a, a product, basically a top up a prepaid uh, product. But we are the expert in prepaid cards uh, as, as far as SIM card is concerned. 90% uh, of our customers are prepaid. So. Also, because of that, we will leverage this product with our 2.5 million subscribers and 12,000 dealers. So this is actually the strength that we have. No e-wallet uh, provider, as we know, have that kind of captive audience, right? Except maybe maybe uh, the hybrid guy, right? I won't mention the brand, right? But the, they have their own issues as well. Of course, they are uh, doing a pretty good job. But take that up, take that brand up. The no other brands have that kind of uh, captive audience. Uh, banks uh, treating the e-wallet differently. I, I, I will not endeavor to explain too much. Maybe the q and I will talk a little bit. Uh, so we, have, we, have, we are in a very, very unique position. R imagine e-wallet tied to MasterCard, to dealers, to <coughs> subscriber. Put in a very good use case, then you can have everything uh, go on quite nicely. Bring in more second use case, third use case. That, that is the way. Not launch something very generic and hope people use it and pay them money to use it. It's not our strategy. So, uh, lastly, uh, I'd like to announce we are a MasterCard issuer. Uh, XRX is a MasterCard issuer.